Hey everyone, it's Mark with Trash Raiders again. And today, we're going to be picking up trash in this parking lot. And as you can see, it already has some trash. I don't know if you can see it, uh, but I already see a battery right there. Some one that somebody just ran over. Uh, and you can see a lot of other pieces of trash there too, if you kind of look. Uh, but we're going to be picking up trash in this area and really see what it's made of. And we're in the greater Houston area today. So let's get started and see what this place is made out of. Before we get started and before we get on our journey, I just wanted to show you, uh, like most, <clears throat> like most parking lots, there you're gonna see these drainage ditches everywhere. You know, it's just part of uh, how they engineer things. But I don't know if you can see it, but this drainage ditch, there is a lot of styrofoam uh, packaging peanuts in there. There's just a lot of them. And I also wanted to point out this symbol right here: no dumping drains into waterways. So when you trash anything, you know, you got to think about it. Uh, it has the potential to go into a waterway, especially in an area like Houston, uh, which all these waterways eventually lead right into the ocean. But enough about that. Let's get started. So I already see some stuff right here. Oh, look, we got a mask. We got a mask. See a lot of those now after the pandemic. Funyuns bag, look at that. All right, I don't know if you can see here, but uh, we have a tree line. So I'll show you the parking lot. There's the parking lot. And then the wind is literally blowing in this direction. So, and you can tell the lighter trash, like the bags and the paper are being blown all the way to this tree line. And they just kind of just stay here. They get stuck in the tree line. I'm not gonna go too deep in the tree line because there is a pond over there that is filthy. And we're gonna explore that here soon. But as you can tell, I mean, most of the lighter weight trash has accumulated uh, along this tree line. So again, I'm just using my observation skills to notice that. Yeah, again, we're just picking up lighter trash here. Paper, plastic wrappers. Oh, that's a bottle cap that took some effort to throw over here <laughs> bubble gum wrapper snickers wrapper oh wow more candy wrappers nope a lid to like a salsa container or whatever Plastic bag. All right, now the wind is kind of picking up. Let's see, look at that. I mean, I know you've all seen plastic bags that kind of fly in the wind, but here's a perfect example while we're picking up the litter. 
you know? Oh, come back. <laughs> I told you about and on the way over there I picked up eight I kid you not eight of those little bitty corona bottles so I don't know just to save battery I didn't want to film it uh, but oh my god I was, I was just kind of taken back by it but anyway uh, we're right here next to a dumpster all right so this dumpster is connected to this building and right here by the waterway so all this trash just flies out of the dumpster and goes right in to this pond it's a beautiful pond there's a lot of ducks that are that uh, live here uh, a lot of herrings a lot of cranes you know i see them all the time over here uh, oh my god i thought that was concrete oh god it's just this drywall oh if i had enough time i would pick that up but look at this right here next to a dumpster like nobody monitors this stuff right here nobody monitors this it's right there next to the dumpster and the employees i guarantee you they don't care if there's trash being blown out they don't have the time they don't have the resources to just come out here and pick all this up you know and honestly uh unless they threw it out there i mean it could have just blown out it's not their responsibility that's why i encourage you as a business owner if you have an area where there's a big parking lot and you see a lot of trash hire somebody to pick it up ask me i'll do it i don't care i will help that's what i live for i live to pick up trash now oh, look at this pull them all Blech. gross more plastic right here by this beautiful waterway easily can just get blown right into the waterway that water gets broken down into microplastics and then guess what your fish eat it i'm gonna try and get as much of this plastic as i can Look at that styrofoam that has already broken down. Right here. 
See it? It's right here by the water. And I'm sure the rest of it was broken down. Got some Halloween trash. Look at that. Oh, okay. There we go. Wonder where that would pick up a Bud Light bottle. See, if this lightweight trash doesn't make it into the waterway, then you saw where that just came from. It was buried. So it just kind of gets stuck and becomes a part of the soil, which eventually, when it breaks down into microplastics, it becomes a part of the water source. And you know, the city municipalities, like the water treatment systems, they filter a lot of that out, you know? However, the animals, it doesn't filter out. They get all that. They get all those little microplastics right in their little bodies. I don't know what that is. Look at that. Huh. Styrofoam cup in the water. Oh man, look. That out of the water. I can only imagine if I had like. Um, waist high waders i would go in here and just see what i could actually pull out of the bank nope again most of the trash we see right here that's being blown up to the edge of the tree line lightweight plastics styrofoam all that you see it you can't deny it <laughs> jackpot of trash here. I don't know what that is. Bud Light cans. Oh my god. I don't know if you can see that. Look at all that. The trash over there. Yeah, I don't have, like, I'm sinking into the mud right now. My shoes are getting a little wet. Plastic bottles here. All right, looks like I can get that. Wow, look at that. Wow, that stuff is buried. It's been here for a while. Oh, oh I got stuck. Coors ice, or butt ice, whatever it is. Gatorade. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I uh, really appreciate you taking a look at this video and seeing what we picked up around this waterway and in this parking lot area over here. Again, if you don't follow our channel, like and subscribe this video and uh, definitely follow us because we do all these videos all the time and we just really want to show you what's out there. So 
see you on the next one again like and subscribe it helps the channel and it helps us actually pick up all the trash around this area so we love you you gotta stay safe and if you see some trash pick it up please see you later